Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my morning routine. I wanted to share with you guys how I do a productive morning routine. The very first thing I do is wake up and water. So I like to go outside and just get my watering tin, fill it with water and get all my plants watered very first thing. I think this is just very calming to me and soothing. I definitely want to start off with just something that's, you know, not overwhelming and not a rush. So I like to just wake up and head outside for a little vitamin D. After watering, I like to relax and get caught up. So normally I'll just sit down outside. I like to just get my legs up, kind of get some sun on them since we're wearing shorts right now. And then I pull out my phone and get caught up on all my messages. So any YouTube comments that come in overnight, any Instagram comments, maybe any emails. This is just a time that I kind of catch up from when I was sleeping, anything that came in. And I can just kind of also relax, get a little vitamin D and just listen to the birds. Once I'm all caught up and I get kind of warm, I like to head back in aside. And this is the part of my routine that I like to call waking up the house. So this is where I open the windows, open the curtains, kind of turn some lights on, just kind of bring life back into the house so that we don't want to be lazy and cozy all day. And there's just something about the sun shining in. I also don't do a lot of cleaning at this point of the day. I clean in my evening routine. So it's just so nice to wake up to a clean house. You can see right here, other than like opening up my curtains, my house, my kitchen, my living room and dining room are just all ready to go. After I get the house awake, I like to get myself woke up and I like to do that by working out. So there's just something so satisfying if you just give yourself a little bit of time to work out. Um, I just do about 10 to 25 minutes a day. So it's just whatever I have time for. I try not to stress about it. I try only doing routines that I love and then you're more likely to do it every single day. If it's something you dread, you're not going to enjoy it. So you can see today I'm just going to be doing a 15 minute workout. I really enjoy this girl. I'll leave her channel down below in the description box, but she just has a quick workout you can do if you have more time you can just like layer up or double up on her workouts and you will feel so much better for the day I promise you're gonna be more productive you're gonna be more active and you're just gonna be more awake to tackle the entire day so you might have noticed that I didn't eat any breakfast in this morning routine so the last two or three months I switched over and started doing the intermittent fasting and I do this 16-18 plan which is basically I fast for 16 hours a day and I eat for eight. It has been a game changer for me. I feel so much better. My clothes fit better. I have so much more energy and then I add that on with doing about a 15 minute workout. It really has been a game changer for me. I just feel so much better and so much more productive during the day. So definitely look into those things if you're not doing them. And then after all that, I like to get ready. I shower every single day. I don't wash my hair every day, but I do get ready and shower. I just feel so much better and I can tackle the day and just be so much more productive. Next on the list is I like to plan and organize my day. I do this every single day. If you're not planning and writing things down, you're never gonna accomplish as much as you can if you are going to. So I definitely wanna thank Personal Planner for sponsoring today's video. I am super picky when it comes to planners. I've owned one as long as I can remember. My mom always has had a planner with her and so I've done the same. I have turned down so many companies because I don't like their planners and then Personal Planner came along and theirs is amazing. What's so cool about it is you customize it for you. So you choose the planner size, you upload your own photo to the cover, you can choose the back of the design, you cho choose the inside of the layout. So like the top banner, how the calendar looks, you can add sticky notes to the back, all sorts of pages. So like I added some coloring pages. So if I'm stuck out and Savannah's with me, she can color. I also added some just planner budgeting worksheets, but they have all different things 
things for you to choose from. So you customize it to what you need in your planner. They also have amazing pins and markers and highlighters. I am so in love with all the stickers. I feel like if you make your calendar fun and exciting, you're just more likely to stick to it and you're more likely to check it, which means you're not gonna miss important dates. So they also have a really cool personal planner like wall calendar, so I like to have that hung up. What's really cool is you can customize this with how many you need. So I did a work column, a family column, and a Savannah column. But say you have three or four kids, you could have each little section for them so you can keep track of like school projects, you know, school activities, sporting, anything that works for you. You can also add in birthdays, anniversaries. It is completely customized to you. Even the bottom, you can add extra lines, you can add quotes, you can add list, more different calendar options, like literally everything you choose, it's up to you and it's all one set price. So it's not one of those, if you wanna add something, it's gonna cost more. It's all one set fee and you completely design it to what you need. So definitely look into them. They have so many different options. They have notebooks, they have personal planners, they have personal wall calendars, just whatever you're needing. I have pretty much everything. I like having a calendar in my desk, on my wall, in my purse. I just like knowing I'm staying well informed because I do not want to be late to anything. All of their personal planners are high quality. They're made in Sweden and they all come with free shipping. So definitely check them out. I'm gonna put a code up here on the screen that will get you 15% off and I'm gonna have the link down below in my description box. And thanks again to Personal Planner for sponsoring today's video. But now you're just gonna see me working here on my planner just so I can plan the day. I also like to plan the week so I kinda know what's going forward. And then after that, I go straight into editing some videos. So this is the next part of my work day. This is either I'm editing the video right here. I'm going to be adding voiceovers. I may be creating thumbnails. There's always a video to be worked on. I feel like I'm doing something every single day. So I want to get work done and I try to get this done before Savannah wakes up. Once I get some work done in the morning, I like to head into our master bedroom and go ahead and make my bed. I think that is one of the most important things you can do every day. I don't think it has to be the very first thing you do when you wake up, just like this is a little bit later in the morning, but I definitely get it done before lunchtime. It just kind of sets the tone for the day. You're more likely to keep your room clean and the rest of your house clean. You're more likely not to crawl back into that bed and take a break or take a nap. You're gonna be more productive. Plus, there's something about getting into a made bed every night. It's just so nice and so relaxing. So definitely just take a few minutes this week and try to make that bed and see if you notice a difference. So honestly, this is about the only cleaning I do in the morning. Most of my cleaning is done in the afternoon and evening time. I do like to start a load of laundry once a day, but I've noticed that's been more in the afternoon after we've all taken showers and gotten ready so that I can, you know, wash our towels that we've showered with or pajamas we've slept in. So really in the morning, it's just kind of about relaxing, getting some work done before Savannah's awake, making the bed. It's just kind of a really calm yet productive routine. And that just really sets my tone for the day. So I'm not stressed. I'm not anxious. I'm getting stuff done, but I'm not like overworking myself where I'm tired the rest of the day. About the time that I'm finished with my morning work and I've gotten the bed made, Savannah's up and gotten ready, but she wants me to do her hair. During the summer, we do a lot of French braids just because she's swimming and riding her bike. She kind of has some layers and like long bangs in there. So we like to braid it and get it out of her face. This is just a great time for me. I can stop, I can slow down, talk to her, her ask her her plans for the day, figure out how she slept. It's just kind of some one-on-one -on -one time and I don't have to feel stressed or rushed 
rushed because I know I've already got a lot of work done in the morning time and I still have the rest of the day to get it done. So definitely just, I don't call it like block scheduling, but it kind of is. It's just kind of like make sure you have a little bit of time for everything. I know as a working mom, it is hard. It is hard to be the working mom. It's hard to be the stay at home mom. It's just hard to balance life. So I'm just doing the best I can to be in the moment. So when I'm working, I'm working as hard as I can. When I'm with Savannah, I'm trying to just mom as hard as I can. And that's the best way that I can tell you to do it. It's just whatever you're doing at that moment, put all your focus and energy into that task. Okay, so next up is homeschool. Now for me, homeschooling is nothing new. I've been homeschooling Savannah since kindergarten, but I know for some of you mamas, this is new. You're doing virtual learning or distance learning. Um, you may have been taking on homeschool just to kind of change it up this year. Just don't feel stressed, just kind of work through it and you're gonna figure out how your kids work best. I like to start off with the morning work because I choose subjects she can do on her own. So typically these are a lot of just our workbooks. It's like spelling, this is grammar, reading, cursive, things she can just kind of do on her own. She may ask a few questions, but typically she can just sit over at the table and get this done. And then after lunch and after playing outside for a little bit, we'll tackle bigger stuff like math and science. So definitely don't think this all has to get done before lunch. Just kind of go with your schedule, feel what's right, and I promise you, you can homeschool. It's not gonna be as crazy as you think. And then after she gets her morning work done, it's typically around 11.30 or noonish, which means it's lunchtime, and I'm typically starving at this point because you guys know I have been fasting since about seven o'clock the day before. So that is my morning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I hope you guys find it helpful and you guys can kind of make a few adjustments to your morning just to make them more calming and relaxing. Um, thanks again to Personal Planner for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget their link and coupon code is down below in my description box and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!